So we've prepared our SD card. Let's take it out of the radio and put it into our computer. And when we do, because we've already formatted it within the radio, we've got these files here. So we're ready to go. And now we're going to go to the Yesu site and we're going to scroll down. The link will be in the description all the way to the bottom. Click FTM 200. And remember, in this case, we don't need the SCU 20 lead, which we have been using. And we're just going to use the SD card. So once we've run that program, we will end up with this window here. Now we have used it a little bit already, but with the cable, we're now using it with the SD card. So we're going to go communications. Well, first of all, no, we don't need a, to do the COM port because we're using SD card communications. Get data from SD card, which is now in the computer. We're going to click all, find it in the computer. Backup, there's the backup file, double click, and there you are, it's on there already. So let's put something on there that we haven't got on there. So we've got 145.600, which is my local repeater. It's put in the shift because a A ARS is turned on, and we can name it as well here, GB3WR, B3WR. Like so, we can choose the tone. Tone mode is tone 94.8. Now, if it's digital, it will pick it up using uh, AMS because I can't see that you can put in, you, that you can select C4 FM. I'm sort of looking for that. It says FM, AM, but not C4 FM. It doesn't show it as a selection. There you go. And so we've done that. And now we're going to write that to the SD card. So we've added that, that channel there. So we go communications, send data to FTM 200. No, that's cap. Did we go send data to SD card? And it's virtually instant when you do it that way. Same file, select the same file and then save. And then it will ask you to overwrite. Just click yes. And it's done. So if I take the SD card out now from the PC, now it faces forward, the, the, the golden bit faces you, carefully plug it in, into the radio. Now we'll go F menu. We'll go down to SD card, which is right at the bottom of your list. Remember, you can create a shortcut. I'll just show you how that's done. If we go to backup number 104, hold down F menu. And we can actually put it into our, our short menu here, our F menu, click the channel knob, and we've actually got a shortcut to it now. So now to go to our backup, we can just go, go to, let's go, come out completely, F menu, shortcut, backup. All these back, all these F menus are customized one. Remember that the back button is the squelch button. So select backup, and then we want to read, no, we want to, let's get it right. We want to read from the CD, channel knob, enter, all, hit enter, turn to the left, channel knob, push the channel knob, and it's going to now read what we've just added. Now I'm just going to show you while you're looking as well after that, all the settings that you can change within this software. Just let that load up. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe I've got, I've got a super slow SD card, but it's free software and to me it works fine. It's actually more faffy using it with the cable. I find it, it works better without the cable because you, make sure you always back up before you do any of this because it will just make the radio go to factory, factory reset mode. So we just added WR, so let's turn it. There it is there, the, main, the one we just added. So that's all good, very happy with that. Now let's just have a quick look at the settings. To the main page, and then we'll click settings. It's a nice, I really like the settings menu on this radio. I mean, look at it, it's just so much you can do. And there's more than one. There's the common, which is this one config, display, signaling, scan, data, all those sub menus, they're all here. Bluetooth, FVS. I've ordered the Bluetooth module and the voice announcer. We'll do that probably tomorrow. There's a section here. For the band, did you know that on this radio, if you hold down band, 
when you're in VFO mode, hold down band, you can actually deselect bands and, and make the radio even simpler to use. It's back with the squelch button. I thought I'd show you that at the bottom here. Function register. So this is the F menu. See, currently we've selected these items, but you can change it. It's a lot easier to change it using this free software. So that's your F menu. If I push F menu now, those selections are what we're seeing on the screen now. So that's, I think that's pretty cool, really. That's a good function, that. Uh, the other thing I want to test, but separately, is, is apparently this will receive APRS on the B band and still receive your busy channel on the A band. I want to actually see that happening and how that plays out. If it's a dual watch thing or if, or if it's simultaneous, because that would be interesting to know. But anyway, GMRS wires X, never use that. What is all that? GM... Oh, group mode, of course, yeah. Not I, not that I use it much, but yeah, group mode. Which Actually, it's pretty good group mode, because once you're in it, you can send messages, you can send photographs. Um, you're all linked there in one happy little group, aren't you? APRS. These are my APRS settings so far. Use a 9 here, I would say, if you're mobile. Location here. But we've selected manual. For some reason, it's taken ages to get a, a GPS link. But although, as far as I can see, you don't turn on GPS. The GPS comes on by default, but it's not getting a lock now, where earlier it was getting a lock e easily. You can see we've got the SD card in there. Let's go to APRS Beacon, Smart Beacon in, which I've never used. Uh, TX Beacon, Call, what we got here, everything that it displays, Range Limit, Off, Off, APRS Units, Andreas, I mean, that's your main one, isn't it? You're turning on the APRS here, look. Although I did turn it on and it didn't actually come on. Oh, I know what it was. You have to do it on the B band. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't use it. I still can't find GPS, though. Maybe GPS shows up on the A band. No. A and B with the AB button or hold the button. And you go to single and dual screen. And then you've got that quite cool PMG mode. If we go memory and hold down the PMG. And it's in scan. When it, right now it's in scan, but if we press the channel number, then you can control it manually. Press to come out, memory. We've not got much in there at the moment, APRS. Let's put that into PMG. We've got two in there now. If we push that, it scan between the two. There you go. <laughs> and then if you want to add another one, let's just say VFO. Let's let's go, let's say add 145. Another quick way of adding frequencies is press the F menu. Go to keypad at the top, the blue bit, select it, and look, one, four, five. Oh, did I go too fast? VFO, F menu, keypad, one, four, five. Puts the knot in for you. Let's put uh, two, five, oh. There you go. And if you want to add that to PMG mode now, hold down PMG. And you've got three in there. That's how it works. And then it's auto scanning or push it and you you decide. So these are good functions. And obviously you can see that the screen display is is red on the FTM 300. You can't do that. You can do it on the FT5. If you hold down F menu, go all the way to the top. Remember, you can create shortcuts for these. All the way to the top. I'll show you the band scope actually. Anyway, um, frequency color, look, blue, red and white. Blue, red and white. I like red. And I'm just back out there. You've got the back button with the squelch. PMG to come out. Oh yeah, squelch shortcut is there. And the scope is just push DISP. And if we go memory mode and turn to a busy channel, we'll see the scope, which obviously is adjustable. That's my hubnet node. I highly recommend you get a hubnet node. So that's it. Bye for now. Catch you on air.
That's how to use the SD card with the free ADMS software. 7.3, all the best.